Hi, I'm Jawad and I'm a PhD student in computer vision and I'll be presenting Arrokomi, which is a library for market detection on panoramic images. Arrokomi is a generalization of market detection library for catadioptric and fisheye images, as you can see in this slide. And of course, it works also on perspective images because we consider the unified central projection model and it runs on real-time and off-the-shelf CPUs. Um, the content of this presentation is organized as follows. First of all, I will start with an introduction where I will be introducing the steps of Arc Omni. After that, I will talk about the proposed algorithm and how we have adapted Arc for panoramic images. Then, the data sets used for evaluating the proposed algorithm. Here, I will show some images from the data set. After that, the results are based on the rates of detection of the markers and the pose estimation. Finally, I will finish with the conclusion and some perspectives. The main steps of Aroku for marker detection are contour extraction, and it is performed on the uh, thresholded image. Then a polygon approximation is executed, and then it filters out polygons without four vertices. The next step is homography estimation and application to remove the perspective of the marker by estimating the homography. That allows us to extract the binary code of the marker for its uh, identification. Once the marker has been identified, the corner refinements and pose estimation are performed. Now in Aroko Omni, we focused on three key steps to be able to detect the marker on panoramic images, which are uh, homography estimation to get the uh, canonical form of the potential marker, homography application to remove the nonlinear projection, and finally pose estimation. All these steps are formalized on the sphere of the unified central projection model. So uh, first thing is homography estimation. We have the rectified marker containing the canonical form of the marker. And this is a new image with its own intrinsic parameters, which we call the virtual camera. And on the other hand, we've got the acquired marker, which is the potential marker detected on the image. So the goal is to estimate the homography that maps one image to another. For, for that, we project the four corners of both the acquired marker and its uh, rectified version on the sphere using the unified center projection that I will show in the next slide. And then the homography is estimated in a way to map the spherical coordinates of the rectified marker to the acquired marker. Uh, so here is the unified center projection model and uh, it is used in this paper, which is from Barreto. Barreto model is based on a double projection via unit sphere centered on the mirror focal points and without considering the optical distortions. So the formula one is used to project the normalized image points on the sphere. And once we've got the spherical coordinates of the corners of both the rectified and the acquired marker XS and X prime S, and uh, starting from the fact that homographies are a three by three projective transformation defined up to scale factor, we can rewrite the second equation as a system of a times h equal b so that the system can be solved for h linearly. Now we're going to use the estimated homography and apply it to the rectified marker to extract pixels intensities from the acquired marker. The same principle as before but this time we project all the pixels of the rectified marker using the virtual camera onto the sphere. So then we apply the homography to that and then apply the projection to project the resulting coordinates into the image plane of the acquired marker. And of course, as you may guess in this process, we need uh, an interpolation to, uh, to fill the missing pixels. And here we use the, the bilinear interpolation. And here we summarize all those uh, steps. We project all the pixels into the sphere using the virtual camera with the xi equals zero, and then we apply the homography estimated previously to the spherical coordinates of the rectified marker, 
and finally we project those coordinates onto the image plane using the formula number five and here we show the uh, visually the benefits of this approach which can correctly rectify the marker and that allows us to extract the binary code of the marker because the extraction very often fails using standard arrow cohomography estimation based on the perspective projection only as you can see on the right side of this figure the grid perfectly fits on the bits of the marker using arrow cohomology and for the last step which is uh, pose estimation we use the method from MLF for pose estimation which gives a direct solution by linearizing a system of six polynomial equations for four points and uh, once we get that we then optimize that using LM optimizer which is also based on the spherical model and uh, the related Jacobians and for the evaluation we couldn't find enough images of marker for evaluating Aroko Omni with panoramic images so we have decided to record a new data set taken with catadioptric and fisheye cameras and this is a high resolution open source data set of 225 uh, images and this uh, data set captures a 3D markers rig which is made of three orthogonal planes as it is shown in this figure so the orientation between the marker is 90 degrees and the translation was manually measured so in our evaluation we consider a third method that we call arrow correctified and it is one of the naive methods to detect markers on panoramic images using the rectification of the whole image before performing a marker detection and pose estimation with the existing arrow pipeline as you can see in this figure, an example of such uh, rectification where straight lines are indeed straight. Um, here is the three methods side by side. We run Aroko, Aroko rectified and Aroko Omni on the same image. And we can clearly see that Aroko fails to detect some markers due to very strong distortions. Aroko rectified fell in as well and a large part of the image gets out of the image and Arocomini works well and detects all the markers. The uh, effectiveness of the proposed approach is shown with the comparison of the three methods in terms of the rate of markers detection. The proposed approach detects nearly 100% for catadioptric images. Aroko gets sometimes quite good results when the marker is not distorted, like when it is located around the center of the image but overall Aroko Omni outperforms the two methods in all situations and in terms of pose estimation Aroko Omni gets the smallest error Aroko here is just for uh, illustration purpose because the pose estimation is based on uh, perspective projection and this is not adapted for panoramic images Again, Aroko Omni outperforms the two methods with the lowest error in terms of orientation and translation for both catadioptor and fish eye images. So in this paper, we proposed an adaptation of Aroko for market detection in omnidirectional images that we call Aroko Omni, and it is running on real time at 20 frames per second on high resolution images. We also shared a data set of panoramic images of Aroko markers. And uh, after this work, we want to extend Aroko Omni to adapt more steps from the Aroko pipeline. In particular, the image processing, mainly the thresholding and also uh, polygon extraction because of the curvature of the markers. All those steps are currently treating the panoramic images with the a uniform resolution and that's not adapted to the curvature of the objects on the panoramic images so with this adaptation of these steps we expect it to increase even more both in detection rates and pose precision a bonus of this presentation is another open source data set that has been recently accepted of uh, larger imaging systems such as catadioptric and twin fish eye taken both indoor and outdoor environments with a synchronized with odometry, GPS and two IMUs. So check it out.
Thank you for watching this presentation and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Goodbye.